Pac-Man, that game where he plays a pizza with a missing slice, where the objective is to eat 240 regular food dots and 4 power pellets. While many aspects of the game may seem to happen at random, that is certainly not the case. Let's start off with the fruit. The first fruit appears after Pac-Man eats 70 dots in the maze, and the second appears after Pac-Man eats 170. How about those ghosts though? Firstly, all ghosts can either be in scatter mode or chase mode. When in scatter mode, all ghosts aim to travel to their designated corners, as shown in this diagram, and while in scatter mode, they will follow the path the arrows indicate. Scatter mode generally doesn't last long enough for the ghosts to make a complete loop of their path. Think of the maze as being a grid, and each section of the grid is a tile. It's important that you know this, as the ghosts use these tiles to calculate how they behave. Blinky, the red ghost, tries to travel directly to the tile Pac-Man is on. This causes Blinky to almost always be following behind Pac-Man. Blinky's behaviour changes as time passes on each level, making his speed increase by 5% and stopping him from going into scatter mode. The speed on each level his behaviour changes is based on the level the player is on. The later level meaning his behaviour changes faster, and the early levels meaning his behaviour doesn't change too fast. Pinky, the pink ghost, as the name would suggest, even though Blinky's the red one, not the blue one. Pinky aims to travel to the area on the level which is four tiles in front of Pac-Man, or at least that was the intention. This is how Pinky works when Pac-Man is facing left, down, or right, but not when he's facing up. When Pac-Man is facing up, Pinky aims for the tile four in front and four to the left of Pac-Man. Inky, the blue ghost, starts in the ghost house in the center of the maze and comes out once Pac-Man needs 30 dots. Inky's behavior is rather complex. Inky uses both Blinky and Pac-Man's location and orientation in order to calculate where he'll aim to travel to. Firstly, Inky locates where in the maze is two tiles in front of Pac-Man. We'll call this position A. Inky then locates the tile Blinky is on. We'll call this B. Now imagine a line coming from B to A and then double the length of that line. The end of this line is the location Inky will aim to travel to. Keep in mind though that Inky suffers from the same issues as Pinky, meaning when Pac-Man faces up, point A will actually be two tiles in front and two tiles to the left of Pac-Man. Inky's behaviour means if Blinky is near Pac-Man, you should expect Inky to be nearby too. Clyde, the orange ghost, is the more unique of the four ghosts, with a random non-Inky ending name. If Clyde is more than eight tiles away from Pac-Man, he will behave exactly like Blinky. Not so unique now, eh Clyde? Copycat. Or should I say, copy ghost? <laughs> anyway, when Clyde is within 8 tiles of Pac-Man, he aims to travel to his scatter mode location, that being the bottom left of the maze. Of course though, their behaviour only really matters when the ghosts are on an intersection of the maze, as labelled on this diagram by the green and yellow squares. All ghosts like short term benefits rather than long term, as they head in the direction which brings them immediately closer to where their target location is even if the overall route to that location is longer. I hope you found this video interesting, and if there's any cool facts you want me to know, please tell me about them in the comments below.